guys, welcome to another edition of Driving with Miranda on the Car Guide. Here I am in lovely Victoria, BC. Obviously it's raining, but we are here with the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. Let's go for a drive. So here we are in beautiful British Columbia. I am in the new 2023 Kia Sportage. Now this is the internal combustion engine version. There is also a hybrid version and soon to be plug-in hybrid electric version. So lots of options available in this newly redesigned Sportage. Now this particular model has a 2.5 liter four cylinder. So I have about 187 horsepower and 170 something pound foot of torque, eight speed transmission. And I can tell you after a day of driving on nice windy coastal roads in Victoria, in and around Victoria, I should say. Um, Kia has proven that they have redone or redesigned their compact SUV to be just sporty enough to feel fun to drive without being overly so. Like this isn't a car that you're gonna throw around in the corners because if you do, your kids are gonna end up getting motion sickness in the backseat. So, but you know, if you wanna give it a little, at times, you can also do that and it can handle really well. I like the connected feel of the steering wheel. Um, there is no lag between, you know, turning the wheel and feeling it react a little bit. Brakes are great. It doesn't have too much body roll. And even though this particular model, which is the X line, so this is the top level of the Sportage lineup, it sits on 19 inch wheels. And even though it's on 19s, it didn't feel uncomfortable. It wasn't jarring. It, um, it held its footing. It didn't feel like it was jittery. You know, we had some heavy rain. You can see now that the sun has come out, as it always does eventually. <laughs> um, but we had a good amount of drizzle and a good amount of rain for most of the drive. And even though it handled itself very well and never felt like it was uh, uneasy on the road. In terms of engine pickup, you know, again, it doesn't, it's not hugely powerful. I think the hybrid version with the battery to give it that little extra oomph will feel that much better. It was a little bit loud on hard acceleration, but it got there um, and I didn't, again, feel like it was underpowered. It's right where it needs to be. Now, in terms of space inside here, so much of it, um, super comfortable. They, it's, it's larger in the back seat, larger in the trunk. Uh, the trunk is absolutely huge. Like I, it's almost shockingly big, even with the seats up. So, um, and I'll definitely have plenty of room up front. Seats are nice and comfy bolstered, but not overly so. So any size individual will feel comfortable. Some of the cool little interior features that this has, um, right here, you can kind of see on the headrest behind me. So this is actually uh, for hanging jackets or like a big bag or whatever. So if you think about it, you get into the car in the winter and you don't just want to throw your jacket like I have there. See, the smart thing would have been for me to have hung my jacket up on the seat. <clears throat> Instead of throwing it in the back like that, that I'm used to doing because no other car has had this feature. Uh, there's also USB ports on the side of the seats um, and then a little grocery bag holder as well on the back of each back seat or each front seat. Um, up front, I have a super impressive uh, 26, almost 26 inch full digital screen. So 12.3 and 12.3 for my gauge cluster and for my media center. It's beautiful and bless Kia, they treated their glass with something spectacular, which means there is zero sun glare, no matter what. And there's no covering, like it's just an exposed uh, screen and, and it doesn't need to be covered from the sun because it has the special coating on it and it's awesome. And not once was I looking and it's all black, it's another whole black and purple and teal or, or pink um, color scheme, which I love. Uh, and it just, it, there's no glare. And then the HVAC system, again, a very cool touch screen down here that you can toggle between your media control and your HVAC control. Um, and then there are knobs that you can use as well, which then toggle between being either your temperature or your volume and tuning. Very easy to use. Again, everything is on your steering wheel if that's what you prefer, of course. And then down here in my center stack with my shifter, I have all my drive modes there. So we've got your sport, your normal, your eco, and then there's terrain modes as well for uh, winter, snow, mud, things like that. 
And then the super cool cup holders that he ha also has, I think in the Carnival, and I think it was in the Nero as well, where you can either change it to hold two cups or you can make the cup holders slide away and then you have a huge like storage bin to put all the things. <laughs> and then a good size armrest as well. I really like the little um, faux wood inserts as well, little accents in the dash. I think it's a nice touch. And these uh, handles on the doors might be my very favorite door handles on any car so far that I have driven. Super comfortable. I don't know. I love the design. I like the brushed chrome. It's just it's really nice in here. It's, it's a well designed. In terms of pricing, there are a couple of trim levels. Um, I believe uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yes, I wrote it down and I looked at it. So there's six <laughs> trim levels and starting price is about uh, 29,000 or 28,995. And then at the top, uh, which is what I am in now, is the X-Line Premium and that is sitting at 40,995. So quite a span of pricing. Um, and honestly, even the bottom level comes really well equipped. Uh, in the lower levels, you don't get the 12.3 and 12.3 inch screens, obviously, but you get a 4.3 and a 4.3. So still a decent size, still digital, really nice to look at, just not as like, ooh, impressive. That's the really big, huge screen that goes across almost the whole dash. Now let's talk about the exterior design because that's something that I am super happy Kia changed. The old Sportage, I really disliked the front end. I hated the little round head. It really didn't have any personality. It didn't have any character. This thing has some serious character. So it has something that's called a, uh, I think it's a tiger nose front. And the LED, the, the daytime running light LEDs are in these really cool V shapes. That, that kind of point together towards the Kia, the new Kia logo. And um, it, it just, it's a very powerful looking front end without overdoing it and without being too much. Um, and then, you know, around the back, you've got those same kind of like angular rear lights and it just, but not too overly done either. The back is very simple. It doesn't have, it's not written hugely across the back Sportage, like so many companies are doing now where they're splashing the, the back of their cars with um, with the name of the vehicle. Also, the color of this particular X-Line, it is exclusive to the X-Line. It is a jungle green, I believe is what it is called. Love it. It's one of those like mossy green colors. And if you've watched my videos, which I know you have, you realize that if any company wants to win me over it, that they give me a car in this color. <laughs> I got to choose this color this morning though, if I'm honest. There's also an all new matte gray, which again, I think is exclusive to the X line and premium editions. Looks really nice. And again, you get those 19 inch rims and each trim level comes with its own specific rim. So while they all look pretty much the same, the X line also has a bit of an accentuated uh, bumper and the accents or the, the roof rails and it's got some black details on the outside and then the wheels are completely different. So each trim level has its own set, not just size, but own rim design as well. So you'd be able to tell the difference between an EX, an SX, um, an X line, et cetera, et cetera, which I think is, is good. I mean, you know, you, you get the higher end or you get the whatever medium trim level and you kind of want to know that you're a little bit different than the person who only got the base model. So it makes you feel a little bit special that your wheels are different. Overall though, Kia did a good job. I mean, this is a this is their fifth generation Sportage. This is their longest running, uh, longest standing name in the lineup. And the first one that appeared in 2000, it is definitely not like this one, which is a good thing. This has evolved in all the right ways. Um, and I cannot wait to drive the hybrid electric vehicle that is going to come equipped with a 1.6 liter um, and obviously have a bit more horsepower because of the battery um, associated with it. And then the PHEV will have the same, yeah, a larger battery obviously, and the same engine as the hybrid. Now you can go to a Kia dealer today and you can order your Kia Sportage, the um, 
this version, the gas version. The hybrid, I believe, is coming a little bit later. And then the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle should be available by summer, end of summer this year. But if you want to go and get your butt in a Sportage and see how it drives and how it feels and the lovely interior, including this gorgeous dash, then you can do that because they should be in Kia dealers now. Like I said, this is, you know, the perfect or one of the perfect compact crossovers that there is on the market. You know, it's direct competition would obviously be the Hyundai Tucson, uh, to go into a lesser extent. Um, your RAV4s, definitely Toyota RAV4 is a big one. And they all kind of hover in that same price range. So nobody's more expensive than the other and they all have plenty of options. It really just comes down to, do you like the amenities inside? Do you like the exterior design? And do you like how it drives? You know, this thing, like I said, is solid. It did really well on some very twisty and uneven roads today, even in the wet, even in the rain. So color me impressed, definitely. I had a lot of fun in the Sportage and I think it's, uh, it's definitely worth looking into if you're a small family, you want that compact crossover, you got a couple things to haul around, but you still wanna be comfortable in suburban settings, then this is definitely worth looking into. All right, guys, well, that's been it for me in beautiful British Columbia in the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. This is an excellent car. They made the right upgrades, they made the right changes, and it looks so much better now. Had a wonderful time on all the Victoria roads and enjoyed sun and rain, of course, as you do in BC. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you can hit me up at Miss Miranda L on Twitter or Instagram, Miranda Lightstone on Facebook.com, or drop a comment below. Hope to see you guys back next week. Mm -hmm.